This video is in collaboration with my girl Love Florette. She wants a man to move to her. Yo, what's up? You know, I, I seen you. I seen you from over there. So, you chose to be a mom at the age of like 22, 23. Now you're 30, you're upset that you're a mother. Who forced you? You're interested in hearing more about what we think? Keep watching. Hey guys, it's Kels and I'm back with another video. I know I'm a little late to the game, but I still wanted to chime in and do a little collab video with my girl Love Florette. I'm bringing you the bougie side of the story today and Love Florette is bringing the shade. This is gonna be interesting. So you guys know Jada Pinkett has a show called Red Table Talk, it's on Facebook. And recently she had Aisha Curry and family on there. One of the comments that Aisha made was that her husband, Steph Curry, gets all this attention and all this limelight from being a you know a top-notch basketball player and from all of the groupies and the women that kind of throw themselves at him with no regard for Aisha she doesn't really get the same level of attention and she kind of said that it kind of knocked on her self-esteem a bit now everybody was up in arms talking about how grateful she needed to be and how you know what was she looking for some scrub to come holler at her and what more does she want and kind of really giving her a hard time for the comment but I'm gonna be honest with you I kind of agree with her and I kind of understand what she is saying. From the perspective of being in a committed relationship to a high performing man who is always on the road, who is always away from home, who's always traveling, and you essentially being married to this man but not having any of the companionship, any of the attention, any of the love on a consistent basis, I can imagine that you will be lonely. Think about it. You were a single girl, you were on the market, you were dating a lot of different guys or you were out turning up with your girls and there was a lot of liberty a lot of freedom but imagine now being married to yes a celebrity yes a wealthy man but now you're locked down now you're the caretaker of this home and Aisha Curry has three children and in addition to that your husband is always on the road so now you go from a woman who had authority over her own life to do whatever she wanted now you're locked down in the house by yourself with the children having to care for the home and your husband is not sleeping in the same bed with you every night and men respect your husband so much that nobody's looking at you nobody even acknowledges your beauty or anything like that you're kind of invisible because everyone so much respects your relationship and your husband but to the contrary your husband out getting attention his head getting blown up everybody like him he's so fun he's so cute he getting all the accolades and here you come the shadow figure I can imagine that that would be very, very lonely. She wasn't saying that she wanted some other man or that she wasn't grateful for the lifestyle that she's living. She was just saying that the emotional feeling is that probably of a bit of loneliness, a bit of wanting some more attention that she's actually afforded. Not because Steph doesn't want to give it to her, but just because a powerful, busy, wealthy man like Steph or any investment banker or any real estate mogul or any legal businessman, lawyer man, doctor, traveling physician, all of these type of high performing alpha males are out of the house a lot. The woman has to fend for herself and the children. So yeah, it's gonna be lonely. I know the single people like to think, oh, marriage is all hunky-dory, but there is some self-sacrifice that's in that and you have to be aware of it. And Aisha was just bringing light to that, the loneliness that can actually exist, the depression, the postpartum depression, and feeling pulled away from the world and pulled away from your own autonomy as a woman. All of that is a concern when you get into a lockdown relationship and you get pulled off of the market. This is a side of marriage and committed relationships that I don't think women really pull back the layers on and really explain to other women. Everybody just wants to make it seem like oh girl i'm off the market i got chose um i'm a wifey now but nobody talks about the loneliness nobody talks about the loss of self-identity nobody talks about the self-sacrifice particularly when the children arrive nobody talks about any of the darker sides or the lonely side of being in a monogamous relationship particularly to a high in a high visibility situation like a celebrity where you can't get your ego stroked by anybody, sis. Not to cheat, but you can't even go out nowhere and like get a little flirt on and see if you still got it, you know, and then go home to your man because guess what? You will show up on TMZ. You know what I mean? You will, you know, you will cause drama in your household. So you just have to end up being like an old grandma. You know, and then on top of that, Aisha has been with Seth since she's 18. Poor thing, ain't have no kind of life. 
no kind of life, no kind of probably traveling or exploration of self, understanding her likes, her needs, her wants as the individual woman before she got booed up and hooked up with Steph Curry, who she probably had to sink her claws into because everybody was telling her how lucky she was for being with him. So these are the things that women should probably discuss openly in our communities when, when it comes to being in relationships. You know what I mean? And really not just wanting to chase down and run down a relationship or monogamy for what it looks like on the outside, but really be prepared for it to be on the inside. I know one of the things uh, that is very important for any woman in a relationship is really to develop a clear sense of self. What are your likes? What are your hobbies? Otherwise, you may very well just lose yourself in the marriage, lose yourself in motherhood, and really not understand why you don't feel fulfilled. This is what Aisha was kind of ice tip of the iceberg speaking about that everybody kind of jumped down her throat about and I think you guys need to be a little bit more realistic and tell the truth and if you talk to any woman in a power relationship like that a power marriage and she's honest with you she probably will tell you that some of the time she's very lonely and doesn't feel as doted on as she did when they were dating or in the beginning of the relationship so that's all Aisha was saying she was just pulling back the layers pulling back the curtains and letting you guys know what it really is be realistic cut the girl a break you know listen to what she has to say because she might be peeling back some layers for you guys that you guys ain't even know you was running down marriage and running down monogamy and don't even know you may very well be lonely in that joint make sure to check out love florette's reaction i feel like it's gonna be a little different than mine but you know that's what keeps it interesting so anyway continue to watch for your videos on dating your videos on travel and the travel alchemist collective anyway guys thanks so much for watching see you soon